Well, good morning, friends at Christ Covenant Church. I might be a little bit tilted. Uh, that's okay. I've got the camera on a recycling bin propped up by something else. I'm here in Chicago today uh, in Northfield, actually, uh, at my sister's place. I flew into Chicago yesterday, leaving O'Hare at 6.30 on Thursday morning. So I get to go to O'Hare at 4 o'clock on Thursday morning. Woohoo! But hey, uh, the reason I'm here is we're Wednesday is the uh, final uh, closing up of my mom's apartment in, in at Covenant Living. And so, uh, you know, coming to get that final push, uh, help figure it out and meet with the lawyer again for a couple things. I'm standing here in front of a in front of a beautiful thing. These are dahlias, <clears throat> and I don't know if they're Danish or not, but they. Uh, uh, when I think of the, these dahlias, look at my sister's got a whole slug of them here. Uh, I think of my great uncle Herbert Hansen, who came came to the U.S. from Denmark, and my cousin, my mom's first cousin Nancy Hansen, who was almost like a sister to my mom. And so uh, my sister has been working on this dahlia project, and they're just just amazingly beautiful. <clears throat> why would she do that? Why would she do that? Well, we'll get we'll we'll talk about why in just a minute. But I want to talk about why as well in another way. I'm a newspaper guy. I've always been a newspaper guy. I had a newspaper route when I was 10 years old, and I've always read the newspaper when I, wherever I lived. I always subscribed to the newspaper, whether it was the Chicago Chicago Tribune or the Jamestown Post Journal, the New Jersey Star Ledger, the Newark Star Ledger. Uh, the Wisconsin State Journal, the Reporter, uh, here in well in Harleysville until a few years ago when they wanted up like five bucks a week for that paper. No, thank you. Uh, I worked on the Quiver uh, as the editor, sports editor in my high school newspaper. The College News when I was in at North Park College uh, was the business manager for that as well. Uh, some friends and I started a newspaper for for about four or five years called the Post College News. Uh, after our, we graduated from college. <clears throat> I love newspapers. <clears throat> and one of the things when you're in the newspaper business is you ask some questions. Who, what, where, when, why, how, right? Who, what, where, when, why, how? <clears throat> Sometimes things are a, an easy question, like a tree branch fell on me and, and killed me. Uh, well, that's, that w that's what happened. Uh, but sometimes in the deeper uh, stories, the stories that have more heft to them, the most important question to figure out is the why. The why. Why did this happen? Why did that happen? Why? And so, friends, we're talking about why. And that's a perfect segue to this, to our uh, workshop coming up on November 5th called Finding Your Why. Finding Your Why. During COVID and coming out of COVID now, a lot of organizations are trying to figure out, hey, what what do we do? What do we do? Things are different than they were before. People are react and interact differently than before. And so we are so thrilled to have our friend, Reverend Barbara Ettinger, who's a friend of our congregation. She's been here a few times. She's going to come on Saturday, November 5th and lead this workshop called Finding Your Why. Finding Your Why. We invite you, and if you're watching this, hearing this, if you're on the distribution list, this is for you. It isn't just for <clears throat> like our leadership team or other members and people in leadership. It's for everyone. So we invite you to come to Finding Your Why on Saturday, November 5th, starting at 9 o'clock in the morning. We'll gather about 8.30. We'll have lunch. I think we'll be done about 2 o'clock, and we really want you to calendar this as we move into the kind of the next phase of ministry at Christ Covenant Church, next, next phase of mission, we need to find our why. And this is a good thing to do to help us on that track. You know, sometimes you think, well, it's pretty easy to figure that out, what our why is, right? Luke 19.10 says, this is the Jim paraphrase, says, uh, you know, Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Uh, and that's a why, right? But why do we do other things? Why? Why? What's our motivation? What's your motivation as a Christian? What's our motivation as a church for mission and ministry? And so we invite you, we invite you, we invite you to come uh, on Saturday, November 5th from 9 o'clock until about 2 o'clock. There's no Penn State home game that day. And so there you go. 
Also, we invite you to pray for that. Actually, we really, really almost beg you to pray for this. This can be a really good thing for our congregation. So pray for Barb as she prepares specifically for our congregation. Pray for your heart. What, where is the mission and ministry within Christ's covenant that God is calling you to? What is the mission and ministry that God is calling us to as a church as well? And also kind of synergy with this, uh, on October 9th, Sunday, October 9th, we're beginning a, a sermon series called Reboot. And so you can kind of see there's some uh, connection there with Reboot and finding your why, that kind of stuff. So we're excited for that. Friends, just a couple things coming up, uh, and then we'll pray. Um, October 2nd, which is this Sunday, is World Communion Sunday. You know, we love World Communion Sunday. It's also the a start, the kickoff for our kids' Sunday school ministry. Keep praying for that. And remember, everyone, adults, you can be helpers in this, right? We're all in it together. We're all in this ministry together. Also, after church on uh, this Sunday, we're going to have a short a youth group uh, meeting with parents just to kind of talk about things and see where, uh, talk about the, the upcoming year. <clears throat> we'll meet in Fellowship Hall for that. And then October 9th, it's uh, the kickoff of our Reboot Sermon Series. It's also our Fall Fest. You know, we had that before, and uh, that's a time of fellowship and fun and food after worship. Uh, it's great to be together. We need you to sign up for that. There's been some emails about that. Uh, sign up for that, or there's also going to be a sign-up sheet at church this Sunday uh, to sign up for that. So there's lots going on. Uh, we've got a blood drive that's being scheduled for November, of course, our community breakfast. We've got a lot starting to happen at church, and we're glad that you are a part of it. And so, friends, let us now uh, turn to something that we can all be a part of, turn to God in prayer. God, on this beautiful morning, uh, standing out here beside these beautiful flowers, I just think about the beauty of your creation. Thank you for these beautiful flowers. And God, we pray today for a number of things. We give you thanks, God. Uh, Colleen Cox was in the hospital at, at Lansdale. I visited her on Sunday, and she had it was an issue with her knee. She said it popped or it snapped. I forget which. But she's home, and we're very thankful for that. We're sad that she and Jonathan couldn't make it on their trip to Sicily, but we're thankful that she's getting the good care that she's getting. We have a prayer request from Pam Latore. Uh, her mom, Nancy Wallace, uh, has been in and is in the hospital in Florida. Uh, she had COVID and was having some cardiac issues. Things seem to be under control now, but still doing tests, and so we keep uh, that family in prayer. We keep in prayer... Uh, Beth Reifsneider and Jeff and that whole extended family as Beth's mother Kathleen was laid to rest. Thank you, God. Uh, laid to rest yesterday. Thank you, God, for her life. And we thank you for that extended family. And God, we pray for a couple other things. Uh, you know, we have this uh, uh, love for Western Alaska. And God, uh, I'm just seeing pictures of Western Alaska after that big hurricane. Uh, it's just awful. We pray for... Uh, the relief efforts that the Covenant is helping with out there. We pray for Puerto Rico. Still a lot of uh, people without power after that hurricane that went there. And uh, Hurricane Ian is c coming over Cuba now and on its way to Florida. So we, we pray, pray for uh, smartness for people uh, with that. God, we also lift up Finding Your Why and Barb Ettinger, and each and every one of us at Christ Covenant Church. God, help us as individuals and help us as a church find our why, how we can give honor and glory to your name in our community. We give you thanks for this day, and we pray all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, uh, that's it. So be blessed and be a blessing to someone else as well. And now the camera's going to go a little wobbly while I turn it off.